All right, so in this video, we're gonna look at graphs um, for free fall. So graphing the motion of an object in free fall. So just a reminder, free fall is a vertical motion. Um, free fall only happens when an object is thrown up. And then of course it must come right back down due to gravity. Um, if an object is at rest in your hand and you drop it, or you can just throw it straight down, um, so those are the three normal scenarios that we'll see for free fall. Remember, it is only vertical motion. And because it's only vertical motion, um, the only force that is acting on it is gravity. Everyone should know by now that gravity is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, so as these objects fall, um, whether they were launched by your hand or some sort of machinery or whether they were just simply dropped or they literally fall out of something um, they continue to fall downward at a rate of negative 9.8 meters per second squared so remember that's the acceleration due to gravity so that means that the object is accelerating right it's accelerating downward as it falls gravity is pulling it downward and as it falls down it is the velocity is increasing. It's falling faster and faster. So let's look at this graph. First, we're gonna look at a position versus time graph. So just the change in position of the object as it's in free fall. So we're starting at position zero, as you can see on our graph. Um, on our x-axis, we have time. And then on our y-axis, we are measuring the distance or the position, the change in position that the object has. So in our chart, you can see that at time zero, the position is zero. After one second, the position is negative 4.9 meters, or you can just say 4.9 meters down. Remember that negative sign indicates the placement of where that object is, and it is falling below the origin um, because it is falling down. Downward is negative. All right, at time two seconds, it is at negative 19.6 meters. At three seconds, negative 44.1. At four seconds, negative 78.4. And at five seconds, negative 122.5. All right, so as you can see, you don't just add 4.9 every time. You don't just add 9.8 every time. Um, as the object is falling, it is accelerating, right? So the speed is increasing exponentially. So um, once we graph all of our points, our graph should look like this. And you should notice that it is a curved graph. Because remember, if we're talking about a position versus time graph, and if we're talking about an object accelerating due to gravity, our acceleration graphs that we look at are curved graphs for position versus time graph. Some sort of curved line, any kind of curved line, that indicates acceleration. So. For a free fall object, this is how your graph should look. Um, it should have a curve downward, because remember it's position, and we are moving further and further and further away from zero in the negative direction or downward direction. It is curved because we are accelerating. To further prove that we are accelerating, we can look at the curve of this line. So at first, it just has kind of a shallow or slow increase, right? It's changing because it's not a straight constant line. There is a change in that line because it's curved, but it's just a shallow line, right? It's not a huge steepness, um, so it's slow. But then as you keep going, it gets steeper and steeper. So here we are ending up with a faster and faster speed. So our speed is changing. It's changing from slow to fast. So it is accelerating due to gravity. All right, now let's look at a velocity versus time graph. So for a velocity versus time graph, we're looking at our change in velocity on our y-axis over a certain amount of time. So again, same table in the sense that we're measuring and looking at the first five seconds. However, now we're recording the velocity of the object. So the object is starting at zero, meaning we dropped it. So it was not launched, it was dropped. So we drop the object, and after one second, this, uh, so the speed or the velocity is negative 9.8 meters per second, or it's going 9.8 meters per second down, because it 
velocity graph, we're talking about the direction that the object is going. It doesn't matter where it is, because that's position. For this velocity versus time graph, we're talking about where is it going? Well, it's falling downwards. Downward is always negative. So again, all these signs are going to be negative because the object is moving towards the negative direction. All right, after two seconds, it's negative 19.6 meters per second. After three seconds, it's negative 29.4 meters per second. After four seconds, it's negative 39.2 meters per second. And after five seconds, it is negative 49 meters per second. All right, so for this graph, you should see a pattern after every second. How much does the velocity increase? Okay, well, I'm hoping that you're thinking, ah, uh, it's almost 10. Yeah, it is almost 10. It is actually 9.8. Every time, it is an increase by 9.8. So that means that our velocity is increasing by 9.8 for every second. All right. So when we plot our points on a graph, because there was a constant increase in speed, there was a pattern. Um, we have a constant increase of velocity. So let me explain that. So our velocity is increasing. I know you're thinking, oh, no, that graph is going down because the line is going downward. Yes, that is because the object is moving in the downward direction. However, if you look at these numbers, just the numbers, not the sign that tells you which direction it's going in, just the numbers, you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 around it. So obviously you're increasing in number of values. So that means that the velocity is increasing. So the velocity is increasing for this graph. However, that just means that the object is moving in the negative direction. All right, so because this graph is a velocity versus time graph, and we do have a slope, that means that we are accelerating. This slope is a negative slope because there is a negative acceleration. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. So for this graph, there is a pattern. We are increasing by 9.8 every second. As you can see on our graph, increasing by 9.8 gives us this pattern. We are going from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. All right, you just keep increasing by 10. 9.8, 10, pretty much the same thing whenever we're looking at this graph. All right, so again, our velocity is increasing but it's a constant acceleration of 9.8. All right, so we've been saying 9.8, and there was a constant increase by 9.8. That is because, remember, for objects in free fall, only gravity is acting on that object. And remember, gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So the acceleration that we have for free fall objects is completely due to gravity, and the gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared down, or you can put that negative sign. So as you can see, the acceleration for the object, the entire time that it's free falling, the entire five seconds that it's been free falling, is always negative 9.8. So the acceleration is always the same. So on our graph, we plot negative 9.8, negative 9.8, 9.8, 9.8, all the way across. So we have a horizontal line because our acceleration is completely constant. Our acceleration is not changing. Our acceleration is always negative 9.8. And yes, negative 9.8, so remember zero up here, go down to negative 9.8. All right, so that concludes our graph. I hope that they all made sense. If they don't, please reach out, leave a comment. Um, I'm more than welcome to show you a different graph or a different way to explain it. Thanks.